Hello, 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 hello. This Blue Star Warrior one here. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Today I feel lend to read Joel chapter 3. Joel chapter 3 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Uh, the other day I was cut off uh, because... Uh, uh, and foreseen forces had cut me off, so... Uh, if you need more clarification about that video below, just comment below or... If you want to, you can ask God in prayer. God, just if knock and seek, and it will it will be given to you. Just be patient. Now, let's begin. Joel chapter 3 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judea and Jerusalem. And you noticed, uh, Israel's been here for 70 years. Think about it. I will gather all nations, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them there for my people, and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidion, and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I render your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken up, taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold into the Gerenians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place, whether ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabinians, to a people far off. For the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake up, the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruding hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And you are strong in the Lord. Assemble yourselves, and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about, hither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe, and get down, get you down, for the press is full. Their fats are aflow, and their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of dis decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the sun shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Israel, shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop with new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the rivers of Judea shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, and for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation, for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. The Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. I hope you enjoyed listening to this. I don't feel led to add any complimentary to this. Uh, please take up reading God's holy word. Please ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
before you take part in the whole, in God's holy word to, so you, so the Holy Spirit can guide you and help you understand what you are reading. For God has all the answers to the Bible. We do not. And we must ask and rely on God. And that's why we have to, we have to walk by faith, not by sight. Uh, because if you walk by sight, you can easily be fooled and blinded by, this, by bewitching spirits and powers of darkness. You have to walk by faith. And it's not easy at first to walk by faith because you're so used to walk, you know, walking by sight. But once you learn to walk by faith, it is truly a blessing. And ask God to help guide you and help you learn to walk by faith. Well, I'll be back as the Lord leads.